What's going on guys, it's Bugs, and welcome to my first ever Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay on my channel. But first things first, guys, I am back. And you know why? Because I downloaded the software on my mom's laptop, and it's running really smooth. So I get to create videos for you guys, edit them, and upload them straight to YouTube. And I'm really happy because... You guys will see videos two to three times a week. My schedule is Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays, but at least two to three videos a week, depending if I'm busy with school or not. But you guys will see a couple videos a week. Now, I did record my first ever match on or in the game, but the quality was really shitty, so I'm really sorry about that. Right now, I'm like a level 30, I think. Yeah, 30. Um, but yeah, before I get into the topic, I do want to talk about the gameplay a little bit. Now, uh, I'm playing on a map called Ascend, playing some Teen Beth match, because that is my you know, game mode, um, but I'm not really familiar with the maps yet, but my favorite map so far is called Green Bam, and people are saying that the map is from Black Ops 1, but I never really played Black Ops 1 like that, so, I don't know, the map is pretty cool, so, you know, whatever, um, I'm using a gun called the K-15, and it's a really good gun, it's one of the first guns you get in the game, it's a submachine gun, and at first I thought it was an assault rifle, but you guys can see my aim is really shitty, and that's because I'm still getting used to the sensitivity and the movement. Because all people do is jump around, so it's really hard to, like, aim in and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, uh, into the topic. One thing I want to talk about is the exosuits, because that's one of the major differences in the game. Now, the exosuit is basically uh, something that you get to put on your soldier and allows you to um, have abilities and stuff like that. But it's just something built in on your character. I don't really think you can take it off. You could not have an ability, but I mean, you'll still have an exosuit. But basically, an exo ability, um, I, I don't know. You can you can have an ability called exo stim, and basically, stim regenerates your health faster, and you get to use your your ability once every life. Now, I don't really know much about the exosuit because I never really paid attention to it. So you guys are gonna have to find that somewhere else, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but you also have an exo launcher, and basically you could launch out grenades, like stun grenades, frag grenades, semtex, whatever you want, out of like this little arm pouch, which is re really cool. You guys will see that right there. Um, but it's really awesome. Instead of throwing it, it just comes out of an arm socket thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah. Now, one of the coolest things for me is probably the score streaks, because you get to add mods to them. Um, so you can have a UAV, for example. And a UAV without the mod is 400 points, but say if you want a mod that's 200 points, you add the 200 to the 400, and it takes 600 points to actually get the score streak. So I get to kind of like challenge yourself a little bit to get like, I mean, higher score streaks, I guess. I don't know, it's really cool. So, yeah. Now, one of the coolest things for me right now is probably the firing range. And I know it's so little, but it's actually really cool because you get to test out your class when you're in a game lobby. So you go into like this virtual firing range and you get to test out your class before you actually get into a game. Which is really cool because if you want to change something up a little bit, you can change it up before the game starts. Test it out, change it, get into the game. You know, it's really cool. So I like that a lot. Now, one thing I do want to talk about, how, talk about is how fast paced the game is. Now, the game is so fast-paced to the point where you can't even strategize because everybody knows Call of Duty of how it was so slow-paced, people use strategy in order to get kills, in order to play the objective and all that stuff. But now, the game is so fast-paced because of, you know, the exosuits and all that stuff. And now, people just don't think. They just try and go for kills and it's just all that. And this is why I want to see how this game is going to be played out uh, competitively. Because, I mean, all people do is jump around and kill people, and that's kind of how I think it's going to be. But, you know, we know how, you know, competitive people are, and hopefully they kind of strategize and show us there is a way um, in playing the game or whatever. Because, I don't know, all I can see is just people jumping around and killing each other. And one of the things that I have to worry about is looking up at buildings on the top of buildings because call of duty people can't fly on top of buildings but now you can double jump do whatever the hell you want and you'll be on top of a freaking building so now i have to look up and i never really used to do that because you didn't have to worry about it but now you do and it's really annoying so i mean i i die all the time because people are always on top of buildings i'm just not used to looking up there so i don't know it's kind of stressful um so yeah I don't know. That's basically what I think about the game right now. Um, nothing else, really. 
Um, but this game right now, so far, the rating would be at least a 7 or an 8 out of 10 because, I mean, people are still trying to hack the game or somebody did hack the game before it came out. But also, um, I don't know, some of the guns are overpowered right now, like a shotgun called Attack 19. It's so overpowered, I die instantly from that gun. I get blown out and I'm shredded with that gun. People shred me and it's fucking annoying. But anyways, that's it, guys. If you guys like the video like it if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys later with another video bye